Oh, hey there everyone, welcome back to Dipshit Productions, and um, today you get to watch me suffer for 10 whole minutes, or I don't know, m maybe, it's more, maybe it's less, I haven't edited it yet, so um, I don't really know. If you haven't guessed already, I am doing artillery only. And um, as you may or may not see, I have a, a few mods on. And no, I didn't do it just so I could put all of these guys into the tags and get more views. I would never do that. And um, yeah. So a lot of people commented on my uh, on my shit post that to do artillery only, and one of them was named Irvin Rommel. I can't remember any other other names, but because. One guy was named Irvin Rommel. I'm going to be playing as the USA, led by, um, yeah. I'm quite surprised why isn't he leading Japan. If you don't know already, the first step of doing artillery only is to get all of your troops, shove them into a single army, uh, every single one of them, in an army, and after you got every single one of them, into your army, you, you'll need to send them to a Siberian Gulag and replace them with a bunch of fucking cannons that are apparently good. So considering I have no army experience, I'm going to have to wait in order to get a template which uses artillery. For some reason, I quite suspect that the US ran out of fighters and just used the same one for P1 and FF. N not sure why do I suspect that. You know, how can we show that submarines are trash even more than they already are? Well, let's name one porpoise. But really, porpoise. Th that's how it's named. A good thing about the US is that you have so many building slots that, that it sounds like you're masturbating when you're building all of the factories that you'll need to brace Lord Artillaris. Hey Luxembourg, you're looking a little down lately. I think this is the first time the flag of Germany truly represents what Germany stands for. Y'all yeah, mind if I, uh, be Alex the Rambler? You know what? US, I relate to you. I am also right now suffering from the Great Depression. This is the first game of US when I I can just randomly pick a partial mobilization or anything other than undistributed isolation. I don't know why, but it, it do be like that sometimes. The Spanish Civil War. Should I support Rock Island? Nah, I think Dwayne Johnson already has a lot of support with all of these sh shitty movies he's been acting in lately. Say what you want about this Team 10 mod, but at least it gave Axis a historical name. Okay, so Japan is the first country to get rid of their uh, Team 10 leader. I mean, it was it was Rice Gum, but uh. I don't really think that Hirohito is any better. <laughs> don't mind me, just going to make artillery from the fucking future. Don't mind me. I don't know about you, but this seems like the perfect name for the artillery divisions. So potentially Mexico could have more divisions than me, and uh, if that's the case, I am... Quite afraid that I will lose. Okay, so to be honest, I think the first country I should declare war on should be the should be Panama because you can't lose against a country that barely has any troops, even if most of your troops are fucking cannons. You still can't. Apparently. Apparently, I can join Team 10. How great. So, because 
the reasons I'm going to give Germans all of my equipment that I had. Top 10 anime betrayals. Oh look, I took an underdeveloped country and turned it into a artillery factory. Okay, Lithuania has actually pushed back the Soviets, one province, but then again, they got pushed back. Another province, but they pushed, pu but they pushed back. And they... Okay, so, so... Lithuania is winning against the Soviets. But now... Lithuania is going to get annexed. Like always. Everyone type F in the chat for Smetona and his glorious mustache. So I think I should end this video with something big and uh... So I declared war on the Allies to give Mr. Jake Paul a chance. Like so apparently UK forgot the fact that once it has every single troop in France, there's no one to defend their mainland. And um... Why did it capitulate the German Reich? Yeah, remember when I was mad about U the German Reich getting a lot of land from the UK even though I was the one who capitulated it? May I present to you... Canada! If you ever feel shy about asking for news, just ask them to send the current capital of France. Okay, so there were like 50 countries that were that haven't capitulated yet, and uh, also Mongolia is the top one in the peace deal. Let let that sink in for a moment. I think I think I'll I'll die, like right now. <laughs> Liberia has declared one. After critical licking like 50 million times, I. I took a bunch of land for myself, I wasn't too greedy, and I accidentally pressed done. So now we're at war with a lot of world powers, and I'm scared. So with the fact that Liberia is at war with me and is currently pushing me back, I'm going to end this video, be sure to follow my Twitter for great content, and um... Subscribe, like, share, whatever, and uh, I'm planning on doing artillery only, but in modern day, because there's more types of artillery. Once I'll reach 28 subscribers, so get on to that.